Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a review today on the Jeffrey Campbell shoes, the high top skeleton Haya shoes. I'm not quite sure what they're called. I'll check after I open the box. I got these from Jildor online. I had seen pictures of these shoes and I was like, oh my God, I must have them. They're not the greatest I've ever seen, but what set them apart for me was that they were high tops. They were tennis shoes, like canvas shoes, which means instead of the boots I wear all the time, possibly with my more casual outfits, I could wear them, get like a lot of use out of them. And also that skeleton prints. So I thought they were cool. Skeleton prints, not the greatest I've ever seen, but you know, I've been after a pair of skeleton shoes that I can wear out. Logan got me the most awesome pair of iron fist, high heeled spiky shoes, the um, loose tooth, but as comfortable as they are, I'm real wobbly on my feet and really clumsy. And so I have to be very careful when I walk and I have to walk like did wobble 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 you know and be careful that I don't fall over I want something I can wear out you know if we take the bus and we do a lot of walking and everybody says these these shoes were super crazy comfortable and so I decided to try them now I'm wearing Lime Crime and Jinx because I'm doing a review on that I don't know if I'll have uploaded the video for that before or after but that's why I have this color on my lips in case you're wondering so I found one site in the entire world that sold these shoes new and they were Jildor and so I bought them well I didn't buy them my ex had said he was going to buy me a tattoo for taking off these two piercings and not piercing my bottom lip ever again instead of the tattoo I chose these shoes because shoes are hard to find hard to get tattoos you can get at any time that's how I saw it so I chose the shoes and so he bought the shoes for me uh, they came, Customs tried to hold them because they said that it wasn't clear on the box what they were, uh, the information wasn't there, and the information was right on the top, which really made me angry, but I still got them in pretty good time. As soon as I bought them, they sold out, so I was glad that I bought them. This is the box that they came in. The box is torn, in shoddy condition. It wasn't, it was just like this, it wasn't taped or secured or anything. Obviously, these were sitting on a shelf somewhere and I have a very big feeling that these were actually used and returned, which also doesn't make me happy. So these are the shoes and they smell, they smell so good. I love the smell of new shoes. So these are the shoes here. And these are called, they don't say it, just the higher. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a link to what they are in the description, it's easier that way, but yeah, so this is one side, this is the other side, and what really sucked is I also think that these were used, because if you look at the back of this one, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like white, there's white shit there that shouldn't be there. One of the shoes was, it was this one as well, this one was unlaced, and it didn't have the paper in it. This one here had the paper in the toe. It was laced all the way up and you could tell it had never been used. This one has scuff marks on the back. So you can see that not very nice at all. And Logan had to pull a staple out from under the shoe. There was a staple in there. So that also made me really unhappy. Actually, I think I'm going to write to them about that because I'm really not happy with that. Although with them being sold out, I don't really know what they could do. But there's a stain on the shoe there. Really not happy with this. Now, onto the actual shoe themselves. So the prints, you know, the cute, cute canvas shoes. These run extremely small. Uh, these are size nine. And I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'm going to go get one of my boots that is size nine and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so normally I'm a size seven and a half and uh, I, I, if I'm buying boots, I buy them size nine because my legs have always been bigger than the average girl legs and so I could never zip up boots over my calves. So I would buy a size nine to pee about that much room because I could fit into seven and a half or eight depending on how wide the shoe was. Uh, there'd be quite a bit of space 
um, in the top of the shoe and my foot would slide around, which made things really uncomfortable. But if I got any smaller, I couldn't zip it up. So, you know, what to do. So these here are my demonias. These are size 9. These look like a size 9. I know they're boots and not shoes, so there's going to be a bit of a difference in width and stuff like that. But these are size 9. There is a massive difference. Massive. These fit more like a size 7. But these fit me really well, so these are probably like an 8, I'd say. And so measured up with that so you can see the difference there as well the toe is very narrow of these shoes I mean when people said that they the sizes ran small I didn't think they meant this small but these are like children's shoes they do fit me lengthwise they fit perfectly like as if that as if they were measured for my feet width wise they pinch really badly right here and right here so like around where on the outside more so right around here I could totally see like it giving me blisters rubbing on my feet so I'm I don't actually know how I'm gonna wear these unless I gotta wear them out and hope to stretch them somehow but uh, they're very very tight and as far as shoes go to be honest I don't see any difference everybody else is raving about they're the most comfortable things I've ever worn and I've worn a lot of shoes I have a lot of shoes and most of them aren't comfortable but these like my iron fist shoes super comfy I could wear those all day if it wasn't for having to walk and worry about falling down but these I don't actually see anything that sets these apart from any other shoes and in fact they're a little bit uncomfortable because of the fact they're so small they're so tight and there's really nothing spectacular about them I'm sorry to say I, I was stoked to get them now I kind of regret passing up a tattoo for that because, you know, I would have had a new tattoo by now. But, oh well, you live and you learn. Everybody else said that they were really comfy. And even if they weren't pinchy, I just don't see anything that's all that comfortable about them. I'm going to write to Jildor and complain about the shoes being used. That really makes me angry. So, uh, I don't know how that'll go down. But so far, I'd say with it coming like that, I probably wouldn't order from them again either. I don't know. But I'll link to the shoes below. That's my half-assed review. I see nothing special about the Jeffrey Campbell shoes. I'd say keep looking. I mean, not that you can get them. They're sold out, like, everywhere now. But they're not that great. They're really not. Say hello, kitty cats. Murky. Marmalade. Are you purring already, girl? Say bye-bye. Murky's gonna go get sold today. Everybody wants Murky, don't they? Mommy's gonna miss you. Anyway, I have a quick update. Um... I said on the Jill Door shoes that I would not buy from them because they sent me used shoes and the packaging was really bad, this and this and that. Actually, and then I mentioned that I was going to write them. Well, I wrote them and the most remarkable thing, once I wrote them, they said that they were very sorry. They checked my order. I was indeed sent used shoes um, in really shoddy condition. They said they normally don't do that. They were very big on customer service and they apologized profusely, gave me a refund for the full amount and said I could keep the shoes. And I've heard of companies doing that before, but I've never encountered it ever. Usually it's very, very hard to get a refund. And if you do, it's a partial refund or you have to send the stuff back. Killstar was very, very hard to get them to fix my um, Skeletor dress. Uh, the print was oversized. It was way too big. The hip bones were at my knees, and um, the shoulder line didn't match up where the, the shoulder bone was like under here, and then the shoulder was up here, and they said it was just because the sleeves were put on wrong. No, they refused to fix it. 
but they did not give me a refund. I had to fucking send it back and they sent me a new dress. Didn't do anything for the troubles or anything. Um, the same with pretty much everywhere else that I've ordered from had a problem with. They don't, you know, the heaven contacts, of course, you know, the nightmare I had with that, like they screwed up completely and they didn't offer me anything. Didn't even want to pay for shipping back and uh, wouldn't keep me updated, wouldn't do anything, and it took me in the end like three, four months to get the contacts sorted. But uh, these guys, yeah, they actually came through really well, and I said, wow, I really didn't expect that. I told them that I had decided not to go to them but anymore, but now, because of what they did, I, I'd more than happily order from them again, and they've kept a customer. And so they said, well, we just, we usually pride ourselves in customer service and we don't, you know, we don't want to make our customers unhappy. So just keep the shoes as our gift to you. And I was like, whoa. So I felt it only right to update my video with this and just let you guys know that they are safe to order from. And while I'm still not all that happy with the shoes, uh, they, I'm very happy with Jildor and uh, they are safe to go to. So I give them massive thumbs up props for that and now I'm gonna go be sad because we're having to sell murky because we've been so behind on the bills and we just don't have any way of paying off stuff and he eats so much he stops everybody else from eating and um, like we buy the you know hundred dollar bags of cat food and he's already gone through most of the bag we have to hold him back and stop him from eating so that everybody else can eat because he won't let anybody else get their face in. I know you're pretty. You're so pretty. And, um, yeah, it's just the, the amount that he eats and then he's not really all that affectionate. He just kind of sits by himself. And so basically he just lives here and eats and he gives nothing back. And it just, we can't afford to keep up with him anymore. And had to make the very, 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 very hard decision to rehome him and of course being gray and long haired and with this double coat of his um he's very unique and everybody wants a piece of him i'm not selling you though you're a pretty little girl you're so pretty so yeah very sad day somebody's on their way over right now to look at him and if they don't want him somebody else has written me was saying that they want me to fly him over and so very sad but say bye bye to murky mm. and say hi marmalade hi marmalade hi <laughs> uh, so i'll see you guys later and thanks for watching P.S. I just wanted to add uh, something else again. This video is just full of additions, isn't it? I wore the Jeffrey Campbell shoes out um, for the first time a couple days ago, last week, something like that. And I actually, I wore socks with them. When I tried them on earlier in the video, I didn't have socks on. I just threw them on my feet. I put socks on and I left. And I was hoping that, you know, being out wearing them could possibly stretch them out. Turns out, they didn't need stretching once I put socks on and I wore them out and I laced them up a little bit better. They don't bite at all. They don't pinch their, the areas that were really tight. They're not tight. I don't know what happened, but they actually fit perfectly and they're really comfortable. They are actually quite comfy. Not Maybe not the, the most comfortable shoes in the world, but they're pretty damn comfy. A lot more than I thought they were when I originally put them on. I was zooming all over the place. I was just like, shum, 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 shum. And, um, my ex had given me a ride, and he's like, slow down, you're going too fast. And I was like, I didn't even realize that I was bouncing around, but I guess the shoes are so light and easy to walk in that I was just all over the place. And so uh, this whole video has almost been a bust. I'm wondering if I should remake it or not. I don't really feel like it because my first impression was my first impression. So I might leave it as is, but to wrap it up, hopefully, finally, Jildor is trustworthy, very, very good company. And the Jeffrey Campbell shoes are actually comfortable. You still probably can't find them because as far as I know, they're sold out worldwide. But they are actually pretty comfortable. So uh, this transaction, I wasn't happy with at first. But now 
now I am happy with it. I'm fully satisfied. Nobody else likes the shoes. Everybody that's seen them is like, yeah, I really like those. But, you know, I don't care because I love skeleton stuff. Obviously, I'm wearing skeleton shit. And i got the shoes on right now, actually. And I just really love them. I, I'm quite happy. So, yeah.